Well, what's up, everybody? We're back here on Deep Logging again today. Uh, made some progress over the weekend. If you remember, all along this uh, road over here towards the sawmill, we had cut down some trees and processed them, and I was in the sort of in the process of loading them up, and then I uh, got busy over on the new job site over there. But uh, over the weekend, I did manage to get a few more of those logs picked up and delivered, so we got a little extra money there, if you notice. And also, I, I bought a, a dedicated wood chip truck. Again, this is 4MR's Pete 379. I just added the little uh, extender or sleeper cab on there. So that'll be our dedicated wood chip truck. And the big, the big announcement, I guess, is I made a huge road <laughs> all the way back into. Uh, if you see where the, let me get it over here. We can kind of see. If you see where the the yellow and greenish dot are up there in the top left corner. I was browsing around this map in Giants Editor, and I noticed that uh, those trees up in there are really thick, and I think a couple other little areas are really, really thick in there. So I thought, well, it'd be kind of cool to maybe set up another job site back in there. We'll continue to work on the other one, uh, and probably what I'll end up doing is the, the, the job site we started last video, I'll, I'll work there a good bit. And try to get that money built up maybe get you know close to a million dollars or something and then we can start buying some new equipment and moving up here to the new site so uh, I thought let's take a drive up there and I don't have a pickup truck so uh, we'll just hop in the tractor and we'll take a take a drive up there and I'll show you what I did I worked on this over two days I mean it's so far back in there and I had to cut every tree, throw them off to the side, then come back and grind the stumps, then come back and plow the row with the dozer. Then finally I came back over with the cultivator just to make the ground texture look a little better, you know. And then of course there's these big hills uh, that the tractor, this tractor didn't have enough power to cultivate up the hill, so I had to <laughs> fold it up, drive to the top, and then cultivate back down the hill. So. Lots of work getting this road built, but it's pretty cool. Um, and you got a few floating trees there, but uh, yeah, it's, this this road is pretty far back in there. And uh, like I said, we'll we'll get some some money built up and buy some equipment, and uh, we'll get started back in there and have us two job sites going. So if I feel like working on the really thick stuff, I'll do that. If I feel like working on the other one then we can switch back over to there but you can see how many trees you know just all along the edges here and I, I didn't process them this time because what I thought I'd do is um, I'm probably gonna end up getting some sort of a winch skitter or a winch dozer or something and uh, just winch those things out of there because it's too much trouble I think with the the grapple but I just kinda made this road meander down in here so it would stay fairly level couple of stumps there wouldn't wouldn't process I'm gonna have to see if I can't fix that then there was a floating tree right here that was too high up I couldn't get it with the grinder either so we'll fix that later I've already got a plan for that but yeah as so you can see it just kind of winds back in here I thought that was kind of neat instead of doing just a straight shot like last time of course it was kind of hard since this is on hills But it's just kind of a neat little drive in here, and what I'll end up doing eventually is uh, get a course play route set up, and hopefully uh, a truck or two I have won't have any problems getting. Well, I guess getting back up the hill is going to be the problem. I don't think there's any hills to go up necessarily. There may be one. But you can see I just kind of made it wind back through the forest here. And here we are at the job site already. So it's not, you know, too too bad when you're driving. Oh, what was what were we doing? About 30-something miles an hour there. But try driving that with a dozer. They only go four miles an hour. <laughs> uh, I, I did do a different uh, processor this time. I went with the Cat 320D. And that worked out pretty good. Of course, you know, they all work the same. But anyway... So I got us a nice big landing here cleared out on fairly level ground. It's not perfectly level, but it's good enough. And um, got a good many trees cut, or, cut out around. And then when we get back in here, 
Uh, I'm probably, let's see. Let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, so the truck would come in from here. I'm probably I'm probably just going to have the truck, you know, park over here. Let's see, the kind of slopes down that way. I'm trying to find a spot where we could pile up the logs. I don't want them like rolling around and stuff. So I guess maybe pile up the logs right here. We could have the truck, you know, the processor sitting well at the edge there, and then have the log sort of here in the middle, and we could have the truck come in and back in right here. I guess would be a good spot. And of course facing that way so we could just take off and go. So we'll do that eventually. But I think today what we're gonna do is let's go back over to the other site and we'll continue to work there and, and get us some money built up. I did add in the uh, developer tools uh, or the um, the easy development tools mod. I've been meaning to do that for a long time. I just never got around to it and I finally uh oh I finally was like, okay, I'm just gonna go for it and add it in so it works pretty cool you just hit f11 brings up all this and you can add or remove money uh, the majority of what I'll be doing is uh, on this uh, player area the flight no HUD mode you could use that super strength on and off uh, then you got the speed multiplier which means when you're out running around you know it really is makes you run fast you got the extra time scale so when you speed up time you know it's really quickly um, some of this other stuff you know I probably won't mess a whole lot with but anyway so it's kinda of fun to use that a lot easier too especially fast forwarding through the night because only 120 it doesn't go by that quickly but when you got a 2000 multiplier it goes by pretty quick so get on and do what you need to do but as you can see we got a bunch of trees to pick up and really the way I threw them was kinda of, <laughs> kinda of threw them backwards so that's what I'm saying a winch I think is gonna help out and we're probably gonna, gonna have to cut some trees down to get some of these out of here but that's alright we own all the land so we don't have to worry about it in fact I'm just gonna see just for fun since I've got the Brooks wood chipper well, let me grind those now. Uh-huh. Well, it thought about it, then it said, nope, not going to do it. I sure would like to get rid of those. But I think I'm just going to use FTR stump grinder. From what I've seen, that thing works pretty good. Well, golly, it's not letting me... Huh. Alright, that's the problem I had last time. I tried from all different angles. I probably tried three different, three or four different ways, and it still wouldn't let me chip that up, grind it up. We'll get it, though. Yeah, I think if I would have actually stopped to process these logs I, or trees, I probably still would have been there building this road. So I decided just to leave them as whole trees and we'll get them later. In fact, I'm probably going to get, uh, just to kind of switch things up instead of the 635, I'm probably going to get the uh, Mountain State Modding's uh, John Deere. I think it's a 548 or 648 winch skitter. I like that thing. It's pretty cool. Should be able to get most of these out of here. And then, I mean, if we have to skid them, you know, back towards the shop, then we can do that just to get them free and then turn them around and skid them back the other way. I don't know. We'll figure something out. I 
I'll tell you what, since I'm here too, let's go ahead and empty this. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have the follow me mod in here. So let's just go ahead and grab this truck and we'll go dump these wood chips. I did take a look at the version 2 of this map and I think he changed up too much stuff for me to switch and, and keep my game save and stuff so uh, I would have had to have, uh, oh can I squeeze through there, if I squeeze through here, Ooh, that was tight, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean he just, he, he, he made roads in it, he changed the trees. Uh, there was just a lot of changes and I think if I would have tried to switch I would have had to start from scratch so we're just gonna stick with version 1 but I think I'd recommend probably going to version 2 if uh, you know you hadn't started this version already there's nothing wrong with this map it's just uh, a few little things that needed correcting here or there that I don't know it really doesn't affect me all that much And if I'd have known version 2, well actually no, I'll take that back. I, I probably would have went with version 1 anyway to be honest because I do like the fact that there's no roads on version 1. And you have to kind of blaze your own trail, build your own roads. That's kind of fun so I actually like doing it that way. I mean I do have something that will cut the big trees so I'm not too worried about that. And with uh kind of plenty of room here to add you know stuff you can kind of build whatever you want to all right so we'll let that go I think that's I think that can run on its own I don't have to worry about that um let's see yeah let's get this back over to the job site yeah, the money's going, so it's it's it'll work on its own. Let's get this back over to the job site. We're probably going to need it when we process the trees and have little pieces and stuff left over. <clears throat> and I'm probably going to make one load of logs since I got the truck here with the loader. And then we'll get back over to the new job site and try to make a load out of there. And then this might be all the time we have for today. I've only got about, uh, oh, well, really about only 20 something more minutes or so. Then I gotta meet some folks for lunch. So it might be a short video today, but I'll try to, uh, you know, try to get something better for Wednesday or Friday. Uh, um, we're kind of in our busy season at work, so there's no talents here for the next uh, couple of weeks or so, probably, if I'm going to be able to get a video out every day. But, I mean, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I'll do my best and we'll see what happens. Oops. Trying to do it blind, that doesn't work.
Uh, we'll call that good. All right, so let's get that out of the way. Strap her down. Let's go. Yeah, I'm really having a lot of fun on this map. I, I think the it, it, it reminds me of uh, Wilhelmina Forest in some ways because you know there was no roads. There was some like little pig trails or something that you could sort of make a road out of, which I did in some cases. But um, yeah, this is kind of fun because there's no roads. You have to build your own and. I'm really debating if I want to even, you know, add rock or anything to this road. I might from the sawmill to the shop, just so that it's a good solid road, and it'd be fun, you know. Which means I'll have to add in the um, building materials, which won't be a problem. So I might do that, you know, maybe for next video or something. And then we might dedicate a video or two to building that road. I think that'd be fun. Wow, I got almost $7,400 for that one big log. Alright, so let's head over to the new job site and... Or the... I guess I should start calling it the first job site now. <laughs> but the only thing I, I, I don't like about this map is I wish... I may just have to do it myself, but I wish that there was farmlands, you know, viable tracts of timber on this map, this version of the map. I think that's the only thing that it's sort of missing. It's okay, to, you know, to have the whole track, but but then you got to figure out, you know, how to make tracks of timber out of this thing. to do it and I have not had a chance to uh, remap the controls I'd really like to because uh, if you see all right so I'm gonna move my joystick to the left and see that's that doesn't work for me I, I wish that it was tied to like a key on the numpad or a key on the keyboard or something so I'm gonna have to get in there and monkey with it and see if I can't fix that and let's see, I think I'm going to go with this view. I think this works out better. It kind of makes me kind of dizzy sometimes, but... <laughs> uh, Got to grab those just right. And it doesn't really like these big trees when you grab more than one. Alright, what's going on with this thing?
And I'm slowly getting the hang of this thing. I, don't, I really don't like dangle grapples, but this one is okay. It's not too, I don't know, I guess loose is maybe a good term. It doesn't flop around too much. It just doesn't want to act right sometimes. All right, yeah, just fall into place. That's good. Yeah, see, like when you swing it around, I don't know if it's hitting on something or what's going on. I can't see. But the cool thing about these big logs is, you know, it doesn't take long to load a truck and Yeah, see what is going on with this thing. I guess it's just the grapple acting kind of funny. Cuz I got plenty of clearance back there. See if we can throw like maybe one more on there. Uh, without messing it all up. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to have to switch these controls. I think, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's... The stabilizers were down, but maybe it's just the grapple acting kind of funny. Because you can see I kind of got it hung up there in the heel a little bit. But actually, I think I'm going to throw one more small one on there. See if I can drop it right in the middle there. Um, let's see. Let's try this one. Not you. It's not exactly small, but... Try to maximize every trip, if possible. That's a good load there. Hope it's not too top heavy. I'll take these turns pretty slow. In fact, I'm going to grab a screenshot of this, I think. Let's see. Trying to find me a good spot here. Alright, got us a good screenshot. And uh, hopefully that works out pretty good. I may grab another one at some point just in case that one doesn't work out like I want it. But I think it should be good. And I think I'm going to buy some, some equipment here with this next load. We should have a good bit of money for this one. Let's see what we get. Another 56000 so we're up over 450,000, so that should be plenty to uh, get us something. And you know, I don't think I have that Mountain State Modding cable skitter in here. Let me look and see. I don't think I do. Let's see, we've already got a processor over there. 
We've already got another loader that I can use if I get everything picked up along the road, which is doubtful. So I'm probably going to need a loader. Um, but I guess the next major thing I really need is probably some way to skid. Oh, okay, we've got this FDR cat uh, skidder that's a winch. But I think I really want that Mountain State modding one. So. Yeah, I don't have it in here. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get that added in before next time, and we'll use that one. I really like that John Deere skitter. And, of course, we need another log truck and trailer. Uh, you know, loader, and I think I, think I should do it. Let me try and get another load of logs here. And then once we deliver this next load of logs, it's time for me to call it a video for this time. But you know, I really kind of like this uh, John Deere trailer mounted a loader. Let me try right there. I guess technically I should have left that running, but whatever. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to try to figure out uh, how to switch these controls around. I've, I've never really, really messed with that too much. But I think if I just go into the... Uh, it's probably going to be in the vehicle the actual vehicle XML I should be able to you know change the key bindings around some All right, come on let's let's go Yeah, I think it is kind of the way I'm loading it too. It looks like it's kind of hanging up on the heel there. There's some collisions or something in there that's kind of goofy. I think that's what it is. as I'm swinging that tree around, I think it's hitting on the collisions for the heel and kind of causing some weird stuff to happen there. So that's probably my fault the way I'm loading this, but this is kind of the easiest for me, so. Yeah, see, it's even acting funny with the, the grapple itself, so I don't know, it's, eh. Not sure now what I think about this as before. Kind of wish that, uh oh, kind of wish that heel wasn't even there. It doesn't really work that good, so I don't really see a reason, honestly, for it to be there. Unless it was a little further back, maybe, or something. But again, it's probably just the way I'm loading these logs. I'm probably doing it wrong. Trying to be real careful that I don't mess up my load. I'd hate to get everything almost loaded and then one log just jam it all up and then gotta offload and restart. That's always fun. Not really. All right. 
right, what's that looking like? Yeah, not too good. Maybe I can shove that top one over to the other side and put one more in there. Here we go. Not pretty bit of work. Alright, so another 56,000 or so, up over half a million now, so we should have, um, you know, buy at least a couple of pieces of equipment, and we'll do that next time. We should have enough now to get everything we need, actually. Uh, if I get that Mountain State Modding's uh, John Deere cable skater added in, and then we'll get us a loader over there, we should be set. So that's what we'll do next time. We'll buy some equipment, try to get it moved over there, and uh, then we'll be set up and ready to go. So if we wanted to switch back and forth between this job site and another one, we can do that, which is sort of my end goal, just to kind of switch it up a little bit, do something different each time maybe. Alright, well, like I said, that's about all the time I got for today, and uh, next time we'll work on buying the equipment and get it moved over to the, to the other job site, the one way up in the top left corner of the map, and I'll, sh I'll show you then really, you know, how thick those trees are in there, and um, we can switch back and forth between the two, and then in, in between videos, I'll try to continue to work on these logs that are on the sides of the road, try to get some of that cleaned up, I'll get the Mountain State Modding uh, John Deere Cable Skidder added in, and then we should be in pretty good shape but uh, anyway until then have a good one talk to you next time